Okay, now to Armenia. It's uh, Verazda Lalian, a man who has snatched 215 kilos before. And from France, Anthony Couet. He's got the lightest opener written in right now at 162 kilos. Camille Kuchara, he's been doing this for a long time. A very physically strong man, just a few mobility issues these days. Then again, another extremely strong athlete from Estonia, Mart Syme. Next up from Georgia, the strongest weightlifter of all time. The strongest snatch and clean and jerk ever belonged to that man. It's Lasha Talakadze. Another Armenian, the world record holder in the total in the 109s, now of course a super heavyweight with a great clean and jerk, Simon Matrosio. And from Ukraine, probably the shortest athlete in the field here, Ole Hanzenko. Next up, he's a man I'm definitely looking forward to seeing compete today. Very strong, very powerful, technically uh, on another level to a lot of these athletes is Eduard Ziazulin. Then the final lifter, the other Georgian, is Bakari Termanidze. And that's it, that's your lineup. Those are the strongest weightlifters at this competition. Anthony Coué from France, 162 kilos will be his opening attempt. He has a personal best of 165, so it's pretty heavy for him. Gives a little mm. bow to the judges. You've got to get in the good book sometimes. <laughs> oh, just left it out in front there. Well, some of the athletes in this category are maybe a little bit older than in other categories, but also worse lockouts, worse mobility. So we're going to see some, uh, potentially some pretty tough calls from the jury and from the judges as well, of course. Yeah, I would be, I would not want to be an athlete out here on the stage. Camille Cusera. And some of these refs and jury. Definitely concerned for him. There's a collaboration between USA and France. Yeah bit of collusion going on yeah. here. <laughs> Caught in the act. See how that turns out. Well, this man right here, he's opening at 165 kilos, or at least has that listed. Well, so As is Kane Wilkes. Yeah, we'll see. The two U.S. athletes will battle it out. Potentially they're... I mean, right now it's changing. Kane Wilkes who actually is in the Olympic spot. I mean, it's not an Olympic spot, sorry. He, he's in 22nd in the world. What I mean is he's the one who is... Yeah, he's ahead. He's ahead of, of Alejandro Medina. Tenth place is, yeah, like we said, a 420 kilo total. I believe King Wilkes there is a world in which a US super can go. And yeah. I think it would be that David Litty has to get into the top 10. And if that happens then the country that's not represented in it, the, ca the um, continent, would be Pan America. And so the, Olymp the slot to a continent not represented yeah. would go to the USA. But if Leedy doesn't get into it, it would go to an Oceania athlete, and he ranks higher than the US. Now we have a change of lifters, also representing USA. Alejandro Medina, first attempt. All right. 165 for Medina. His best internationally is 173. This is his sixth international. Made 60% of all of his opening attempts in the snatch. Oh, big swing forward there. His hip throw yeah. is a little too fast off the floor. You know, that could be that body weight loss he suffered from that digestive issue. Maybe change his leverage a little bit. 
doesn't feel quite the same, so he pulls off the ground and lost position a little too much. Two minutes. Do we have any fans from USA? Make some noise. Well, you know, we have seen when we look at into the stats, Team USA is definitely up there as having missed more attempts than most countries. Yeah, um, this has not been, uh, into it. not been a fantastic competition for them. But again, it, they're not really in this to win any medals. So. I mean more just when you look at their stats across their careers. I mean, it's true, That's isn't true, it? That's true, yeah. yeah. We can see it in front of us right now. There. There's a lot of misses. Oh, yeah. You see? That's quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so what's going to happen here? It could be Kane coming out. No, Kane's bumped up to 170. Okay, yeah. Which will pull out Medina. Yeah, Medina's going to be the lifter here at 165 because Kule here. Nope, Medina's gone up. Well, Kule's coming out at 167, so Medina must have gone up to at least that. Kule missed 62 on his opening attempt. Going up five kilos. Yep. Oh, it's such Doesn't a bold seem to strategy. Be a good move. He missed that, and it actually looked a little bit worse in the yeah, opener. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I didn't look as close. And you wouldn't expect it to. You know, no. when you go up five kilos. Yeah, well, you know, here's another athlete who missed an opener. He jumps up two, though. Yeah, he's coming out to 167. Getting the final preparatory smacking from Kuros Dimas. Yeah. He brings a lot to the US. <laughs> he say does. Lovely. You know, the first attempt at this, he let his hips rise up too quickly. He kicked that bar forward. It's all going to be off the floor for him here. Oh, you know, a little better, but I think he might have even been touched too much. Might have been called to the press out even yeah. had he managed to get up with it. I definitely saw a little bit of movement. Okay. There's Kule now at 67. Yeah. I mean, he has to make this snatch, otherwise he won't build a total. Yeah, this is very important. The last two have been forward. That right arm buckles on him. No, it wasn't even close. Too well, heavy. No, it's been a, a tough bit. start to this yeah, session. It's five straight misses. If you thought this session was going to go quickly. Um, Reality is setting yeah. in. <laughs> Hopefully Medina can now put on a bit of a show, turn things up a notch. He's got the ammonia out. He has to make this lift to stay here. I mean, was his last attempt a little closer maybe? It was, yeah. yeah. The first one he hopped forward, second one he cleaned up a little bit. He's going to have to bring this in better. You know, if he can be a little more patient in that pull and get it behind his head on the turnover, he should be able to make it. Six kilos off his best snatch internationally. Yep, there That's it is. The one. Ooh. That's great to see. Big sides of relief yeah. as he makes that lift. Three white lights. And he's on the board. We got our first made lift of the competition. You know, we did speak to most of these super heavies. We were able to talk to Medina. 
He said this year he's been working in the 160 to 165 range as his top lift. Last year, of course, he made 175. Okay. Hazenko now here from yeah. Ukraine at 170. Yeah, nine kilos shy of his best. Do we have any fans from Ukraine? Make some noise. One seventy, a weight he's not opened with at sort of as low as this since uh, he was a junior back in two thousand and nineteen, the European Junior Champs. Oh, wow. good lift. You know, his foot slid in the middle of that pull, you can see him rearrange the foot position. Yeah. Generally not a good thing, but he made it work for himself. There's a lot of um, air time in that lift as well. Yeah, it's not you the know, most... Contact, contact, yeah. and then... It takes there's a hesitation before he starts moving under. Yeah, yeah. Any time wasted, you know, letting that bar move up while you're not moving down is kilos off the bar in the end. Here comes Kane Wilkes. Real veteran, legend of USA weightlifting. This is his 12th year of international competition. Multiple time continental champion back in the Pan American region, but now facing uh, some stronger competition here in Europe. Here's his 170 opener. Yeah. Didn't have the power on the top of that pull. It was close, but forward as well. Yeah. His international best is 183. You know, that's, that's his a lot of only his second missed opener ever. Yeah, he's usually a pretty consistent athlete. Yeah. We've seen him make, you know, pretty solid totals through and through most of these competitions, but, you know, there's a miss right there. Do we hear any check fans in the house? Check. So, I mean, he'll have to follow himself. Yeah, for him to get any rest, he'd have to go up quite a bit. Yeah. At least five kilos. He'll probably run that clock down to about a minute and then come out. Getting some final words of encouragement, coaching cues, yeah. some pointers here before he goes out. For the second attempt, Kane Wills, USA. That was an interesting interaction. Gave uh, both Piros and Mike a little chin grab. <laughs> Haven't seen that before. <laughs> He's in good spirits. <laughs> All right, 170 again. He just missed this. It was only a little bit in front. There it's it better. is. Very strong man. Yeah. That first one was probably just a technical fluke. Yeah. Made a mistake. He's got a great attitude. Yeah, he comes from a family of pretty strong lifters. Yeah, very solid lifters. Yeah. Brother Cord Wilkes, who was a pretty decent, uh, maybe 94 back yeah. in the day. Uh, yeah, he was very good. Yeah. Kane was the one who really stuck with it, though. Yeah. He's been competing for years. Yeah. 
pretty long history, well, actually. I mean, he went to yeah. the World Championships in 2013. Lewis, yeah. Uh, one of the first World Championships I watched. And then he went to the Pan American Championships in his second year of international competition. And one, 178 he snatched, 221 clean and jerk. And he's been able to hold that sort of level basically for the 10 years. Yeah. Yeah, he's consistent too. Always kind of in that same range. Mm. So Hanzenko's just dropped by a kilo, so he's going to take 174. Easy open. Yeah. Yep. Same same thing as on his opening attempt, yeah. but a little quicker under. Bags of uh, bags of sort of pace and energy in the bar. There he goes. He's airborne for a while. Yeah. Bit of an aerial move. So if people want to know what's coming up, we've got Camille Cusera now coming out at 175. That's the same weight that Mart Simon Terminidze won. Martirosian, Simone, has asked for 190. Zia Zulin, 195. Lalian, 200. Lash has got 205 written in. Now, this man has been competing internationally longer than anyone at this entire European Championships. 2002. Yeah, that's an exceptionally long career. Oh, he's still got it. Very strong lift. That was a very solid 175. Well, it's possible he's looking to get into the top 10. I mean, can you imagine if he goes to the Olympics? After all of these years. Yeah, that would be, be an extraordinary amazing. extraordinary way to cap off the whole thing. He took a 10-year gap between 2005 and 2015. Oh, wow. He wasn't banned or anything. He just didn't just compete for 10 took years. Took some time off. And then thought, you know what? I think I could do this again. All right, here's the first of the Georgians. Terminidze points to his elbows. Let's the jury know. Smooth. Easy. Yeah, such a solid lift. You know, I think he does a uh, no foot. Yeah. No foot movement. That was casual. That yeah. was really, Very really nice. good. Now, of course, we've not seen Lasha really going heavy in the training hall. No. There's been speculation for a while as to whether he's even going to lift. Uh, but as it stands, I mean, he does still have a... He hasn't declined his lifts yet. Yeah, he's got an opener written so in we'll here. So we'll see. We'll see. Based on his training, it almost feels unlikely, but... I mean, you just don't know with someone like that. Okay, so Kane again, 175. You know, he's looking probably to improve on his total a little bit. Uh, 175, his, his best for this quad is 387. So if he makes this, and a 213 clean and jerk would do it, which is very much within his capabilities. And he'll be lifting here against some stronger athletes than he's used to maybe in, in Pan America. So that might help push him up a little bit. Yeah. That's a great oh, yeah. There you go. And That's that 176 great. has been the top lift in a couple of other categories. 
That's course, true, yeah. They're going to surpass it in the Supers now, but I think yeah. it was the winning snatch in the 89s and then also in the 109s. Yeah, it was, yeah. But that's a great lift there from Kane. Puts him in a good spot to improve his total. Final attempt now for Hanzenko. Five kilo jump this time rather than a four kilo jump like he made on opener to second. Oh, big jump back. Yeah, that's yeah. not going to be a good make. Much further it's back than on his yeah. other attempts. That's just too hard to make a lift when you're moving that far back. It's rare to see. Looks like he sat his hips back as well and really just dropped his chest as he yeah, leant down. Grabbing to get under wrist the wrist there, too. I wonder if he's hurt. Mm. Mark Syme. Now, Mark Syme is currently in 16th in the world. But he's opening now at the kind of weight that makes you think maybe... Just maybe he's going to try and move yeah. himself up towards the top 10. I don't know if he's really capable of it these days. He's a man who's done a 253 clean and jerk, but yeah. we haven't seen that for many years. Another veteran of the sport, 2011, he started competing internationally. He's been a super heavyweight athlete in t his entire career. So strong. Very nice. What a great opening lift. It's almost like because he doesn't actually accelerate the bar that much between the knee and his catch, he just has to pull the bar with maximum velocity, yeah. and it just stays at that speed the whole time. Yeah, you know, as long as it's continuing to move, he get under it. Yeah, there's not a lot of acceleration. Yeah. It's just fast right out the gate. Okay, Camille Kuchera. 184 is his all-time best. And now here he is. 23 years into international competition. Going for 180. It's a monster left. Oh, yeah, he didn't get that overhead well. You could see he was leaning back behind it, and then when he went to go turn it over, just never got his head through. Terminidze is the lifter at 180, but... He's going to move up. Yeah, yeah. his best is 185, so I wouldn't be surprised if he goes for 81. And then 86 for that personal best. Yeah. His total is 399. So there's no way he's not planning on trying to hit 400 here today. Yeah. So you don't want to be left with a 399 total as your best. That nice 400 mark is always something you can put on the mantle in the fireplace and tell your grandkids about. You know, it's no 500 like his teammate was going for, but yeah. And as we thought, they're loading up another one kilo, so 181 for uh, Bakari Tamanidze. Gives a quick point to the elbows. And watch how he doesn't move his feet. Yeah, he's got a really smooth pull. Mm. Oh, that left elbow unlocked on him. Yeah. You know, he made the offering to the jury, but it wasn't going to be enough. It was a little forward, but he still pulled the bar relatively nicely. Looks like 
George is waiting to see a replay before he decides whether or not to play a challenge card there. They're not going to yeah, play it. I think he knows. He knows his lifter well enough to know it's not worth wasting it. Look at that. You know, his heels come up, but he doesn't really have any foot movement. From the side, he looks very smooth when he lifts. I guess from the front, it looks a little bit more off. But. Yeah, I mean, almost, I would dare I say, similar to his teammate, mm. Lasha. Very smooth. Nice pull. Just needs a better lockout. Kuchera there. It's going to be his lift at 181. Yeah. He missed the 80. And we have a change. Loaders. Nope. He's moving up. So Terminidze so now is going to be the lifter at 181 unless he moves. No, it's, it's, it's going to be Kuchera. Well. Yeah. Yeah. They've both gone up. So wrist straps on. man very strong athlete just not as fast and mobile as he once was oh, I mean that was know, pretty quick he overdid it but yeah, it, you know, like you said he just doesn't have the mobility to really make no. an adjustment down there it's it's just kind of a pull and a prayer that he gets it in the right spot it's like he's wound so tightly that yeah. when he gets Pushed into that catch position, which is pretty deep. He's like a spring, and he yeah, just, I was just gonna explodes say that. back out. Look at this. It's pretty deep, and but he, he just can't. Yeah. Just throws him back. All right, Terminidze went to the 183. Yeah, he's gone up. This will be a good spot for him if he can make it. He's got to come down to that arm. You know, he does the no-foot snatches. Um, but he's still a touch forward with it. Yeah. You can see he catches it and his weight shifts. You know, he's just got to be a little bit more energetic on that turnover. He's got to really snap it into place because if that bar comes down, that arm's going to unlock. No. Not there. Not okay. today. Not a great day for Terminidze. One for three, 175. This has been a pretty rough start so far. Yeah. A lot of red on the board. Well, we probably have two more lifts here from Mark Sam. Yeah. 185, and then we'll find out what he wants on his third. Then we're into the big boys. Or yeah, the, the bigger boys. Once we get to that 190 range, that's when things really yeah start moving. All right, Mart same. His second attempt, he made 180 very solidly. They have the speed for 85. We know he has the strength. Look to be it. Wow. Let's see if the elbows hold. Good yes. Two to one call. Oh, that puts him in a great right. place. Yeah, that's a fantastic lift for him. I mean, his best ever was 192, but that, that was a while ago now. Yeah. You know, he hit that back in, I mean, what, so long ago, I can't even see, 2018. So yeah, six, six years, years ago. ago. You know, he has one more attempt. Mart's gonna follow himself here. Yeah, he hasn't made 185 since that competition, the World Champs. Yeah, he's in phenomenal shape then. So him he's trying to get into the top 10 is starting to feel Yeah, it's materializing possible. here. 185 he just got. He needs you know, 420 to do it. So he'd need 35 right now. That might be a touch too oh. far, 235, but it's possible. Strong enough to clean it. 
He's going to go up. Let's see what he actually takes here. One more might be. I don't know. 188. That might be a great call. Yeah. 188 gives him a little bit more. It's going to knock that clean and jerk needed down just yeah. a touch. But it's not unattainable. No. You know, the question is, after basically a minute and a half rest, can he come back? Can well, he make that? There's a giveaway. Did you see Lasher was stood there with his trainers on in a full track suit in ah, the back room? Yeah, he's out. Uh, he's, I mean, he's still got his attempt written in, but clearly he's not coming out. Which will be, you know, the first time we've seen that in... There he is. Yeah, a long I mean, time. He never does that. He never does that. But also, Lasher has made a point of saying on camera now that though the goal of a 500 kilo total might be out of reach, his goal is certainly to remain undefeated. He does not yeah. want to lose. And if he feels at all like he's in a position here where he might not be able to beat Lalian, well, you know, he's not going to lift. Yeah. He's going to just continue training, get stronger, and then come back in Thailand and win. And then, of course, go to the Olympics, try and be the three-time Olympic champ. Yeah, you can see that. Not many people have done it. Very elite group, for sure. Is it five now with Lou? Yeah. Yeah. Naeem, Halil, Kiros, Kaki. Kaki, yeah. Lou. Lou. And then, if she's young, by some miracle, puts on another 15 kilos on his total, or yeah. maybe even more, and is able to beat Rathmat, then. I think Rathmat might have something to say about yeah, that. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Okay, 188 Mats Naeem. This is a monster snatch for him. He's not even touched these numbers or attempted them. For six years. Incredibly strong, strong athlete. If he has the speed here, this could be a make. Uh, <laughs> no. You know. No. Well, no, he not today. <laughs> he seems a little smile. He it seems like hand. he was yeah satisfied <laughs> with that 185. Yeah. It is it is a good number for him though because he does potentially have a shot to make that Olympic spot. So as so often happens at these championships, everybody's done, and then the top three open up. We've got the two Armenians, Matarosian and Lalian, and Edward Ziazulin, the independent athlete. Lash Talakadze, we are pretty sure, will withdraw his attempts. He's in a full tracksuit and trainers in the back room. Doesn't look like he's going to be lifting, unfortunately. But Lalian will get to... Hopefully, experience winning for the first time in his career, I think. His 190. Now, he made this in the training hall about nine or ten days ago. Oh, very comfortable. Yeah, that looks smooth. Oh, yeah. That was good. Well, there's a big battle between him and Ziazulin. Assuming Lalian's in good shape and, you know, snatches something big and, and really just pulls ahead, that battle for silver, Martirosian, Ziazulin, they're both very strong athletes. Ziazulin maybe the better snatcher, Martirosian the better cleaner jerker. Yeah. So it's going to be a fun battle between those two. You know, we saw Martirosian do a 200 kilo snatch at Worlds. He could, he could inch up towards that again here. Is there any chance that Georgia use last you know, attempt to give Lalian some rest so that he could attempt a big snatch? I don't think they would do that. No, I would. I mean, they could. You know, they could do the opposite Friendly. as well. But <laughs> yeah. I would be uh, harsh. I, I would, yeah, I would be surprised that they would meddle with yeah. the competition that way. My guess is that they'll just withdraw him. They'll withdraw Once him. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think so. So here's Yuzulin. Now he has been known to miss snatches, but they always look nice. He's technically very, very good. His best is 206. That was back at the World Champs when Lasher made the 225. Oh, beautiful yes, lift. So nice. That was very solid. Yeah, you can't beat that. I mean, the speed of the bar coming off the hips, the mobility and the catch. Yeah. Beautiful pull. Everything about that was great. 
He has a lot of room. And he's slowly gaining body weight. Getting heavier and heavier every competition. He's one, 146, I think, here. Well, he's in the top 10 in the world right now. Yeah. He's in a pretty good spot, sitting in at number 8, but he's 11 kilos over number 9. So he's quite safe. But he might be able to up it again here. 431 is his total. 434 right. would move him up into 7th. Yeah. Well, Rallyan's coming out now for 200. And this is what we, I guess, assumed would happen, but didn't necessarily want to happen, which is that Lalian realizes he doesn't have to deal with Lasher and then therefore opens yeah. up much lighter than he would otherwise. Yeah, it's unlikely we would see a, a snatch in that 215 range. Two hundred opener. He made it in yeah. the training hall last week as well. And then makes it on the platform here. Very good. I mean, if you look at Lalian's history, since becoming a senior, third, second, second, third, second, second. Yeah. He won the Grand Prix a couple of months ago, but I mean, no, nobody else is there. Wow. Martrosian, 200 on a second attempt. Massive. This is huge. The 10 kilo jump. Yeah, he did hit that 200 at the World Championships. I mean, last year that was his biggest snatch yeah. ever. Had that 199 world record forever. Right. And then he breaks that personal barrier here. But question is, if he makes this, is this going to become a normal lift for him? Right. I think we'd love to see that. Big 200 snatch. Oh, mm. Looked a bit heavy. Well, you know, what's tough for him is it's the fact that only one Armenian can go to the Olympics. Yeah. And it's not going to be him. He's just in a, in a tough spot. You know, he's not the size he would need to be to be a, a really top super. Yeah. But he's, you know, a little too big for the 109s. I mean, how much did he weigh? Let's take a look at that. One thirty. Yeah. yeah. That's about what he's been recently. You know, you compare that to Ziazulin who's fifteen kilos heavier but right. maybe about a foot taller. <laughs> Big left here. Yeah, he gets so much speed on that bar at the top. I mean he moves like he's an eighty nine. <laughs> oh Oh yeah, he cut that one a little bit. It was a little rushed. Yeah. Started there. moving under a little early. Only one man's made 200 so far. Mm -hmm. Remaining with the same weight, 200 kilo now for the third, last attempt. Make some noise for Simon Martirosia, Ardenia. Okay, Simon now, I mean, this feels pretty... M this big. Yeah, you know. pretty maximal. Well, you know, he took a 10 kilo jump. That could easily have been yeah, the reason risky. for that miss. I mean, that... that Big jump will really expose your technique. Any flaws you have are just going to become magnified with a huge jump like that. We've only seen him do a 10 kilo jump once before. That was 2020. 180 to 190. It didn't work then. Uh, that was closer, but you it's know, again, it's forwards. too much, too, too aggressive. He's trying to rush too soon. I mean, it's 200 kilos, so I assume yeah. you really want to get it done, but getting under that bar is not going to happen if you don't yeah. pull it high enough. I think the 5 kilo jump to 195 could have been the yeah. way. Yeah. Well, he's got 190 on the board. I think he's probably yeah. seeing himself locked in as a bronze for sure. You know. And uh, I mean, if Zizulin doesn't make this, yeah. Matrosin could definitely get a silver. Yeah, he could pass him in the clean and jerk. Uh, but if Zizulin makes this, you know, a 10 kilo lead in the yeah. snatch, I just don't know about that. Well, he was he was rushed on this 200 as well. Yeah. You know? It looked closer there. Yeah, if he can hold position a little bit longer through the top of the pole here, that turnover will be perfect. So much closer, but again, yeah. just a little rushed. Wow, 195. Well, just one athlete uh, yeah, he's at 200 or more. We've not seen 
this in a while. We're not used to this. Yeah, Europeans where the heaviest snatch so far has been 200. So let's see what happens with Lasha here. <laughs> Lash is technically up next. Yeah, 205 for, for Talahadze. There we go. He's now withdrawn. withdrawn him now, yeah. yeah. An odd time they would withdraw him at the end here. Yeah. You know. No, I'm just looking into the crowd to see the all of the smiling faces turn into frowns as they realize that the man they all came here to see is not lifting. Yeah. But one of the strongest snatchers of all time is Razdat Lalian. I mean, he's been out snatched by four athletes ever, yeah, I believe. He's number five in the rankings. He's 215. Two well, five joint here. five, I think. There yep. we go. Easy lift. The question is, does he take a 210? Yeah. Or does he even really need it? I mean, he's already 10 kilos up on everybody else. I think it goes 210. I Might can see well. that, yeah. Just makes his life a little easier in the clean and jerk. You know, he looks... Um, yeah. I know, it looks like... Of course, Lashley didn't want to lift. He certainly didn't want to lose, but... He might have been able to win. Yeah, that's right. Even in his current, you know, maybe not yeah. perfect health shape. If 210 is the biggest snatch here, I, I mean, can't yeah. imagine 211 is too taxing on Lasha. I mean, I, I would be hard-pressed to believe that Lasha couldn't do a 215 snatch probably anytime he wants. Yeah. You know, but again, what shape is he in? Maybe he hasn't been training at all. We've seen him doing, you know, power snatches from the blocks in the training hall and, yeah. and pulls off blocks and squats and push presses and yeah, a few really no-foot lifts, but... We were waiting for his heavy day and it just never came, so the, the doubt started to creep in as to whether he would or wouldn't lift, but we didn't know. But no, it doesn't look like it. Yeah. Just kind of getting into generally good shape here. All right. 210, final lift for Lalian. Okay. Masses left here. 210 kilos. You know, it wasn't that long ago no. that 210 was just an incredible weight. Well, the and here we are. World record was set at 214 by Salimi you know, a decade ago. Yeah, that's true. So 210 here. And 213 and a half had stood for a decade prior to that. So here's a pretty casual... Well, we'll see. For him, it's a casual attempt. Mm, no. Just not there. Well, you know, it's also to be to be noted here is that there's no competition for yeah. him. So, you know, how uh, how hard is it really? How much motivation is there to really push? Well, also, I think a lot of these super heavyweight athletes, you know, they can't peak too often. Yeah. And uh, we saw it with Gorman Asian at the uh, Asian Championships last week. You know, he didn't lift particularly well. I think maybe he snatched 207, 208, yeah. something like that. Um, I mean, he's actually beaten by Manasad, which is a surprise. Uh, and then Lasher not competing here. Uh, Lalian not putting up the biggest lifts either. So I think it's definitely possible that they're all just a little bit tired from the free from competition. And yeah. ma maybe they'll put up some big stuff in, in Thailand in five weeks, but Certainly not now. Yeah, they're going to take time off at some point. They really want to get ready to train for the Olympics. The games are the most important thing for these athletes. Yeah. Okay, so a 10-minute break now. Let's take a look at the rankings after that. Not the rankings, the, well, the rankings within Europe. Europeans. The gold medal to Vrazdat Lalian, 205 kilos. The silver with 195 kilos to Eduard Ziazulin. The bronze medal, Simon Martirosian of 190 kilos, a little bit lower than we thought for these athletes. Runner up, 185, good to see a big 185 snatch from Mark Sain. Over on the USA side of things, 167 for Medina. He made that on his third attempt after two misses. 
and then 176 for Kane Wilkes. Misses opener, made it on a second attempt, took a big six kilo jump and looked very strong with that lift. So he's currently got the, uh, the nine kilo lead. Two athletes have withdrawn now. That's Chalahadze and then Coulet from France has pulled out. Oh, so what we're down to nine for this clean and jerk session. Going to move pretty quick. The final 27 attempts of the European Championships. That man right there on your screen. Mark Sine. Mark Sine. Oh, yeah. Potentially the most interesting story here. He has a shot at getting himself qualified for the Olympics mm. with a 420 total. Yeah. He snatched well at 185. The question is, is he in shape to do what's needed in the clean and jerk? Yeah, 235 he would need. I mean, his last two competitions, yeah, he hasn't he's done 225, 220, 220, 225, 220, 225. <laughs> he did make 235 in 2018. You know, to be said, though, <laughs> he's only been snatching about 180 to one, 175 to 180 yes, during those yes. meets as well. So if he's he up is up... Ten. He is up here in the snatch. Maybe he's up in the clean and jerk. Yeah. We'd love to see him take a shot at that 420. Yeah, and he must have known he was in shape because he opened so heavy at the 180. That's true. Yeah, he's not open at 180 since 2018. So I think he clearly knows he's in a good spot and he's going to go for it maybe here. So the next competitions that we have coming for the sport of weightlifting, it's actually the Pan American Championship start. Uh, let me check, within a few days, I think. The 23rd, I believe? Yeah, 23rd of February. We will not be streaming those, unfortunately. African Championships next month also, and then it's the, the big one, really. It's the World Cup in Thailand. That's where we're going to conclude all of these crazy stories that we've been covering over the last 18 months. The top 10 will be decided. The athletes will be, uh, well, the athletes who receive their tickets to the games will be decided there. It's going to be absolutely incredible. Yeah, it'll be a wild competition. I think that's going to be one of the one of those competitions to remember for a long time because we have so many athletes just on the border of that qualification for the Olympic Games yeah. that will absolutely go as big as they possibly can to make those totals. As well, you have everyone trying to defend their spot. If you're in 8th, ninth, 10th, you've got to hold off any of these people trying to move up ahead of you. So, it's going to be quite an extraordinary event. had a chance to move around in the city here a little bit, Sofia, Bulgaria. This area, this sport complex we're in has been interesting. They've got a weightlifting hall with a athletes train. Well, it's the warm-up area, I assume. Yeah. They probably don't actually train here. We know that there's a kind of a well-known, famous training hall nearby where back in the 90s, I guess, Randy Strawson went and filmed the infamous, unbelievable Bulgarians video that many of the fans watching this are probably aware of. Yeah. In that video. I mean, how many times have you seen that? I can't. I, I would be embarrassed to say how many times I've watched it, but <laughs> prob probably over a thousand. <laughs> uh, you know, in that video though, we have uh, Zlatan Vanov taking a 210 kilo attempt, maybe five an absurd times. amount of times. Yeah. We saw him maybe two nights ago walking around. Georgi Gardev wearing the YB yeah. Normal t-shirt, which became the first ever weightlifting house product. Yeah. Kickstarted this whole thing. Now here we are. Full circle. How many years later, and we're broadcasting the European Championships. It all started with a, a very good <laughs> t-shirt. Yeah. You know, it's... it's Worn by such a niche athlete. As I a, was, it's yeah. such a strange thing that that would be yeah, the I mean, first product to Gardev probably wasn't the most... Uh, really no. He lifted well. He was a good lifter, but... Uh, Have you held the Bulgarian snatch record in, yeah. in those ca the 90s categories? 
Yeah, but he wasn't necessarily one of the uh, most no. prolific lifters. Not at all. We do actually have a drone up in the air. Um, inside. Yeah. You know, Max and I are very excited for the when the uh, drone flying becomes much more precise and they can fly cameraed drones of cameras through between the legs of the athletes as they yeah. pull the bar off the ground. Yeah, I think those are the angles we're after. Be appreciated by the, the athletes and the coaches as well. Oh yeah. Yeah, there are rumors about next year's European Championships. We've heard Georgia, we've heard Moldova. Yeah. I think we all know which one we'd probably rather go to. Yes. But very true. We'll have to wait and see. I've heard Georgia's a beautiful country. Yeah. I've yet to be there. That's what I've heard. It's much further east than I think people realize. Yeah. Borders with Azerbaijan. Yeah. yeah it borders Russia, I believe, too. Yeah. Armenia, Turkey, and the Black Sea. Yeah, it'd be a fun place to go. So we've got about a minute to go until we get started. Two athletes have been withdrawn. Lash Talakadze from Georgia and Anthony Kue from France. He's actually on the bus on the way home already. He left pretty quickly after <laughs> missing those snatches. Oh, wow. Yeah. Alejandro Medina will be the opening athlete at 200 kilos. The heaviest openers written in at 240 kilos. That's for both of the Armenian lifters. Unfortunately for Simon Matarossian, he's 15 kilos behind Lalian. So he need to out clean and jerk him by 16 kilos, which may well not be possible. Okay, it's a very loud countdown once again. Ten seconds. You know, these definitely aren't seconds, are they? No, it's just a no, countdown. It's just a countdown, but it takes about 20 seconds to get through the countdown, I think. But, you know, for the final time, I'm happy to hear it. Okay, here he comes from the USA, Alejandro Medina. forward there yeah really not a great start I think he knows it too he just totally screwed that up yeah you know, he said to me he wanted me to make sure I said live that he has lost a lot of weight yeah. just so people know that well he weighs about 120 here yeah what do you say about 10 kilograms huh yeah yeah it's gonna have an effect on you You know, one of the biggest parts, too, is that leverages are going to feel different. Yeah. You know, your pulling position, your catch position, they just don't feel the same when you drop that kind of body weight. And probably in a very short time, too. I don't think he 
lost that uh, over the course of six months. It well, sounds like it was pretty abrupt. It used to be a pretty decent 109, 105 before that. In fact, <laughs> many years ago, Medina and I were at the same numbers. We were both 94s. And we both snatched the same numbers. And we followed, followed each other on Instagram. Wow. Um, and, uh, you know, it was good. So somebody I followed on the other side of the ocean, yeah. similar lifts as me. I thought, okay, this is a good guy to follow. And then You guys went different directions yeah. for sure. <laughs> Yes, we did. So you're saying that could be you. That could have been you oh, right no, there. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing could ever get me lifting anything close to these sorts of weights. Yeah, he's a phenomenal athlete. Okay, so he'll take this 200 again. Yeah, that first attempt, he just really wasn't in a great position. Hopped forward, left the bar out in front. Let's see him correct that error here. Yeah, better. Uh, we'll see if that holds. I don't think yeah. it's no. going to. Yeah, two, uh, two reds. Well, Medina's had struggles with the clean and jerking competitions before. Uh, he's only ever made one second attempt internationally. Um, and now hasn't made that one either. Same situation actually in the third attempt, so we'll see. It's possible it's the, it's the travel or yeah, I mean the travel, Just the, the competition weight loss. experience. Yeah, who knows? But he's uh, he's always had a bit of a trouble in the clean jerk. There's his teammate Kane Wilkes, waiting for his attempt. Yeah, well, I think he has 205. Yeah, 205 written in. Yeah, this is a rough spot for Medina as well because you've taken two lifts. Well, the, you know, the you have very USA little time. They're challenging it, but I think it, that's more to buy yeah, some time. Exactly, it's a smart move. Yeah. It's a yeah. Yeah. That's. I mean, based on the jury we've seen, they are. They won't let that happen. They would be frothing no in the mouth to overturn that. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. It eagerly. Yeah, they happily <laughs> no like that. A way to call like that to, to strike down. Yeah. Oh, uh, well that Did looks he like say he's 205? Uh, wow. I don't know if he's waving it off or asking for 205. Now yeah, they're going to change, yeah. You know, it's probably his, his best bet. I mean, he's, he's he'd be exhausted going out yeah. there for a third right in a row. I think he said 205 to get yeah. some rest, let Kane come out. Yeah, it's really unlikely that Kane is doing, or sorry, that uh, Alejandro is doing three, three clean and jerks at 200 in the span of about five minutes. Well, let's see though. I mean, maybe they'll call for 201 to get a little bit of time. Maybe. He's got a two minute clock that just started. He's at a minute 51. We see a change being put on the card. What I mean, is I that? I feel like I. 207. Okay, yeah. No, I that's, that's Wilkes. As Wilkes is going to. Medina's coming out. He's just going to take the 200. Or, or that maybe I, he's. <laughs> that body you know, we're trying. We're trying to interpret the body language, <laughs> but Medina's throwing us curveballs here. Is he? Is he waving it off? Is <laughs> or he, is he waving it up? Is he going up? I think they're going. <laughs> I can't tell. Up or off or does he want it or not? Gatone there doing the same thing, <laughs> same giving thing. us mixed Now he's running here. around. Well, Kane here. Nope, he's gone to 205. Okay, but Kane's okay. already at 207. So. Medina only gets the time that it takes to stop and load 205. Well, he needs we this go. if Pneumonia. he wants to make a total. He made a 167 snatch. This would put him at two, uh, 372. You know, he left that first clean out front, came back, made the second. It crashed on him a bit. Yeah. Can he clean it up? Can he put everything he has into this lift and make this? 
If he's aggressive on this clean, yeah. he could have some energy left for that jerk. Oh, it's, a it's yeah. just too much. You know, he let it go. No. Too big of an yeah. attempt. That's unfortunate. Kane Wilkes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> He's running off there. Kane Wilkes the lifter now. 207, though. Yeah. Alejandro. Valiant attempt, but yeah. just wasn't there. That 200 on the second was the one, but subtle press out. Yeah, I think I saw him give a little high five to Kane as he went out, just saying, go on, yeah. go get it. He's a great teammate. Go get it. You know, Kane is in a situation where he can improve his Olympic ranking. He's, he's not going to get into the top 10, but he could uh, at least improve the total that he has, which right now sits at 387. You know, I wonder if he needed that total for a stipend. Medina? Yeah, I wonder if that was possibly motivation I for the bigger now, attempt. Don't they say that? It doesn't the matter. The way it is now, in yeah, the USA is like on the Olympic caliber. It's top ten. Yeah, I think that's just top ten men and top ten women. Oh, it crashes on him a bit. He gets a very wide grip on the jerk, mm. though, and it's an easy lift. You know, there was a famous weightlifting meme from a few years ago. I think it was Kane Wilkes back he clean and jerk 225 at the rogue uh, arnold championships or whatever 2020 and he clean jerk 225 and because it was so wide in the grip there were posts everywhere saying kane wilkes 225 kilo snatch yeah I remember and of that. course it was before lasher did it so it was a world record snatch yeah and then lasher said hold my beer <laughs> when yeah, let me just snatch that real quick yeah All right, 208 now. Yeah. The lifter is going to change. See them actually. Oh, another increase as well. I'm guessing Kane will go for, well, at least 212 to improve on his total. That would actually bump him up from 22nd into 20th if he makes 212. But first, here's this 210 opener for Hanzenko. He snatched 174. Oh, yeah, big hitch there. Nice That's track, though. Solid, Good. strong opening lift. Yep. Same way. 210. Second attempt. So I think Kane will, Kane will probably bump up. Yeah, I'd be surprised if he took 210. That's a small jump. Yeah, 212 increases his total, moves him up into the top 20 in the world. If he makes that, he can then take a big, big swing at something in the teens. Yeah, Kane has done, I think, around 230 at national level wow. event in 2015. Huge. Yeah. Two fourteen now. It's gonna be Kane there. Yep. Well this puts him at three hundred and ninety kilos. Three ninety would put him at well he'd stay at twentieth. Well he'd move into twentieth.
And of course, it is possible that even though he'd be in 20th, he could go to the Olympics if David Leite from New Zealand can get himself into the top 10. Yeah, he'd need to put about 13 kilos on his total. Hmm. It's possible. Leedy yeah, is one of those athletes that's could do it. phenomenally talented. But either Leedy or Kane would get the continental slot. Oh, get a little the invitation. Forward. He's Blood up. crashed, but he's got that jerk. There wow. it is. It's a jerk unlike most others, any yeah. others really. Super wide grip, a very shallow dip. and Very shallow dip. He has such a, a brilliant ability to stop that bar's downward momentum yeah. and get it to deflect. I mean, that bar... An abrupt stop to yeah, the dip. Just wraps around his shoulders and jumps off of it. It's impressive. So, we're getting the blues on the bar because we're going to be up at 2.15 now for Tom and Idze's opening attempt. Now, is his shot at getting 400 still on? He'd need 225. This 215 opener is going to tell us a lot about whether his first 400 is at all possible. Another Smooth. No foot movement at all. How's the jerk? Looks to be good. Let's see what the lights say. And three whites. You know, watching him lift with his no foot and all these things, it's almost like Asenizzi has just constrained him and all the way he's allowed to move to try and channel this guy's strength somewhat into the right movement so yeah. that one day after Lasher, he, he naturally wants to move in the right um, with the right technique and he can lift something heavy. Yeah, you know, we'll see how that lockout holds with bigger weights, but I could see him growing into growing into a more competitive super over time. Yeah. I'm not sure he's got much more physical growing to do. Yeah, he's, he's pretty large. Yeah, he's up there. Six kilo jump for Hanzenko. This would move him up to a 390 kilo total. Oh, no, Terminidzis was drawn. He's out. That's the three athletes. The field shrinks, drawn. yeah. And Zenko here. He made 210 on the opening lift. That bar crashed on him in the clean. Six kilos more. Watch the hitch. Wow. Oh, it was a better better pull overall. That's a tough readjustment. Oh, no, I don't know he's about fighting. These elbows. He's fighting for it. We'll see. I I'd yes, love him to get sir. given it. Two to one. Oh, they gave it. I think the jury the is jury. okay with that. They're no, they're stopping. Uh, yeah, they're not happy with it. Yeah, they saw an opportunity and they took it. Well, you know, an athlete fighting for a lift, got That's to overturn They've got to scrutinize yeah. that. They're going to... Oh, yeah. They're not happy with the effort. They're out for blood. Yeah. I mean, yesterday was the most insane... Well, on, on multiple levels It was levels almost like there was well. a battle between the judges and the jury. Yes, exactly. I don't think I've ever seen... I don't know if we've seen an event where there's been that much of a discrepancy between no. what the refs see and then what Jury's five people yeah. 20 feet behind them see. You know, the refs will white light a press out and get it overturned or they'll they'll red light a good lift and the jury will turn it back oh i think he got that wow that's a, that's surprising well final day maybe they're feeling a little extra a little generous extra friendly uh we're lulling them into a sense of security here with that and they're gonna go for oh. more later oh mart saim is screwed <laughs> <laughs> oh no and we think it's gonna be tough for oh, him it, wait for yeah. wait till kuchera comes out <laughs> Well, Kane Wilkes is going for 220. Yeah, Where's he going I, up? I figured he would. I, I almost would not be surprised to see him take 221. Yeah, he's making it. Yeah, 220, yeah. That's a that's a big number. Let's give him a 396 total. Yeah. So what does that... It still puts him into 17. 18, 
18. Moves him ahead of eight Mao, who's in 18, so he replaces Mao at 18. Yep. Well, Dadish Bailey will. Oh, yeah, Dadish Bailey will be removed. He'll leave. So, yeah, you're right, 17th. Okay. It's an enormous left. He's not done this since 2020 internationally. No. Not today either. either. Today. Yeah, that's heavy. <laughs> He's tired. Yep. Thank you. Get that man a chair. <laughs> yeah, no. 220. Remains on bar. Now for the third last attempt. Representing Ukraine, Oleg Gajenko. And that's it for Team USA at this European Championships. It's been a a big up and down, really. Yeah. One athlete who was looking for an Olympic improvement managed to do that. That was on the day two, I think, with uh, Hampton. Hampton Morris in the men's 61. Phenomenal performance yeah. from him. Otherworldly, really. We 171 a, clean and jerk at 61. Yeah. And then uh, Caden Kohoy yeah, lifted Kahoy. very well in the 73s. Other than that, you know, well, Kane did well actually today. Yeah. He did well, four for six, one seventy six, two fourteen. Yeah. Other than those three, yeah, a lot of it wasn't a good competition. Bomb outs and withdrawals. Yeah. Unfortunate for that. Okay, two twenty now for Hansenko. This will be an eight kilo personal best in the cleaner jerk for him. Whoa. Yeah. Too much. He's thrown out of way too. Yeah. Too big for today. Yeah. But again, he's another athlete who's done very well. 390. Same as Kane. Snatch two kilos less, but clean jerk two kilos more. Kuchera here now. 221 for his opener. And the size of this man. He's just a mountain. You know, he doesn't wear a belt because one has not been made that fits. There's not a there's not a cow big enough. <laughs> yeah. He refuses vegan leather. This will put him at three ninety six. Huge pull. He's got to really lock it in here. Watch these elbows. Yeah. No. Oh, he's no. passing out there. Yeah. It's tough. Shakes his head. He's okay. Nods to the yeah. session doctor and says, don't worry, I'm good. Yeah. She really had no plan going up there if he passed <laughs> out. I mean, she would have been useless. Yeah. I don't even think she had the, the cold spray with her. Yeah, it would. Well, 221 is going to stay for him. The next jump would be two and a quarter, and that's going to be Martzim. Kuchera is better off taking this again. Yeah, bit of ammonia to wake him up. Snapping back into it. He's breathing heavy. And there's Mart Syme. Mart Syme's asked for 225, which, yeah. That's what he would need to start, 225 yeah. right to 235. Yeah, you could take the 5 and then the 10 kilo jump or just do 5s, who knows. Yeah, pray that the jury yeah, likes the elbows. Falls in love with him here. I mean, you can't not love Mart Syme. No, he's a, a great guy. Very friendly. Yeah, you know, fun lifter. We we were reminiscing earlier about the 2017 World Championships. I I, I don't believe I was there for this. You know, that was the first time Lasha snatched 220. Yeah, that was yeah. about. Oh no, I, I mean for the conversation. I mean, oh, I don't oh think yeah. I was there. But yeah, Martin was battling the Iranian fan base that was absolutely rabid. They tried to get him to miss. Yeah, they were yelling. They wouldn't quiet him down. And he did. And then uh, he came back out, and the entire audience 
cheered for him to drown out oh. the booing from the Iranians. It was something special. It was one of the best yeah. moments in weightlifting history. You, know, you felt like you were part of that lift. Yes. It couldn't have been done, I don't think, without no. the overwhelming support from the American crowd. Yeah. And it was a huge personal record for him, 253. Yeah. It was a special moment. Okay, here's Kuchera now, second attempt. Bigger clean than the first. Yeah. A little tough on the recovery. Can he get it behind the head? No. No, that's... He's, he's passing out on these. No lift. Yeah, he is. You know, don't forget, yeah, this guy competed internationally in 2002. Yeah. You know, there are probably people watching this who weren't even alive then. There are certainly plenty of weightlifters That's true. at this European Championships who, who yeah. weren't alive here. I don't think their parents had met. Yeah. You know, we've seen some 2006 births. Birth he is <laughs> oh, wow. at this competition. Yeah, he, he'd already he'd actually already retired by then. That's true. Hadn't he? He'd retired and then he'd come. He came back he's, years he's later. He's had uh, two weightlifting careers <laughs> in has. the span of one of these people's <laughs> lives. In this case, I mean, well. yeah, he's in a tough spot now. He's he's got to be exhausted. Yeah, he's made two cleans at 221. Let's see what's happening. Are they going to make an adjustment? At least they're going to declare a 221 so they could change. Yeah, they're going to okay. go up. I mean, he had no other option at no. this point. No, I mean, that man needs some air. Uh, nope, 223. They asked for 23. Huh. They faked us all out. Yeah, 223 for Mark Syme. Oh. Oh, oh no, 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 I see no. what you're saying. 223 yeah. for Kuchera. Kuchera asked for 23. What an odd call. Well, I'm going to guess that he he knows he can't do 225. I mean, he probably knows he can't do 221, <laughs> but... Well, he can't. Uh, yeah. I mean, at this point, what does he do? I mean, I'd say 225. Yeah, I mean, I mean he you would could get see that Mark Syme was ready to take, go take it. They'd have to change the plates. He'd, he'd have two, at least another two minutes. Probably three. But instead, he's going to have to get up off of that chair now. And he's under a minute now. Do they do they call 225? Oh, yeah, I yeah. thought that was going to happen. They wanted to buy as much time as possible, run his own clock down, then change the weight, and then bring out Mark Syme, and yeah. then come out. Yeah. Well, Brilliant we'll stuff. See if, we'll see if that pays off afterward, but for now, 225 kilos, Mark Syme. We know he needs 235 minimum to get himself into the top 10 for the Olympic qualification. He makes easy work of this. That 235 is definitely within range. Let's see how it looks. I will say Mats, I'm looking very tanned at this competition. Yeah, he's been, he's been getting some sun. <laughs> Oh, very strong yeah, clean. That's good. Oh, a little funky recovery there. Oh, can he hold it? Oh, he's in good shape. I like this. You know, another 10 kilos gets him into the top 10 in the world. I can see it. I think, yeah, I think that's doable. Yeah, I think he's push pressed that sort of weight before, actually. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, really. Oh, he's, he's getting dizzy, yeah. Even dizzy. better. <laughs> All the big boys are getting dizzy in this session, I think. All right, Kuchera here with 225. He missed 221, was passing out, yeah. took it again, made it better clean, but then started passing out again, couldn't make the jerk. Bought as much time as he possibly could. He's really in a tight spot. I mean, he has to make this or he has no total. Yeah, less for 400. Strong clean. clean. Come on. Oh, he was so close. Yeah. It's just not there. Just can't do it. You know, I think even if he wanted to retire and take his shoes off, he'd be unable to right now. <laughs> yeah, he might We've not be able to. We've seen three athletes retire at this competition. Yeah. Two in one session. So... 
It was New Zealand. Now, Mount Simon, interestingly, going for 237, which could be smart. So that 235 would, yeah. gets him yeah, into 10, move. but 237 gets him no, it just makes into 9th. He gets him into ninth, but it makes it a little bit harder for someone to pass, yeah. right? And yeah. he has a shot at a third as well. Right. Yeah, I think that, that might be a smart move. We'll find out if he makes yeah, we'll it, obviously. Find out. Yeah, there's a lot going on. All right. Okay, here's Zizulin, 235. Silver medal in the snatch already. Yeah, this will uh, put him up at 420 in the total. Move him straight into the lead. Stumble on the clean. Does he hold it? Does he hold it? Yep. All right, he's on the board. He's in a great oh, spot. You know what? It's very possible that Ruby uh, Ali Ali from uh, Iraq, who is number 10 in the world, he would have lifted more of the Asian Championships. Oh, and so he's actually probably increased his total a little bit, which is going to make it even harder here. So that's why uh, Martin's going two, three, seven. He's actually doing it to move ahead of Wally Bidani rather than Iraq. Yeah. Okay, here he comes. Yeah, well, when these competitions are happening within the span of, I mean, essentially a month, those numbers are changing at a rapid pace. It's a very big lift for Mark Syme. Again, it's been a long old time. It's been five, six years since he was attacking weights like this. Sin not since Ashgabat have we seen him with a weight this heavy on the bar. Ten seconds. Five. Oh, wow. Strong clean. A little forward, though. That was the jerk. Oh, 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 and he's hurt himself. No, oh, no. that is so sad to see. What a shame. That's going to be Mart Syme out. Surely he gave everything he could. Yeah, we hate to see that. At least she brought the spray this time. Yeah, it's more effective when used on the skin, but... yeah. Rather than held in the hand. That's a real shame. Mark Syme fought courageously. Look at the clean. That was old yeah, Mark Syme. I have to wonder if that forward on the rack, a little yeah. forward when he caught it in the big step forward. That looked like it, didn't it? It was almost like this step that he takes with his yeah. right leg. He, he looks like it. he shakes a bit just there. Like that could have been the adductor. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, brutal. Hey, Lalian so, now. Yeah, Lalian's dropped down to 240. Well, no, he was 240 was in, but and you know what? This seals it, doesn't yeah. it? I mean, he's got 10 kilos on Zizulin. Uh, Zizulin, yeah, and he's Martirosian would need maybe 256. He's 15 above Martirosian. Solid clean. Yeah, very I mean, easy technically, lift. that line is so good. And you know what? He might be experiencing what winning feels like finally. That's true. And uh, as a senior international athlete, he's been held back. Well, he's not been held back. He's been surpassed every time by Lash Telekadze. And then it's been back and forth, really 50 50 with his old teammate, Gorman Asian. But finally, he might be coming out here and uh, he might be an athlete with a gold medal. I mean, it's so rare for an athlete of his caliber to go through his career for this long and not be an international gold medalist. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if we've really seen that many 215 no. kilogram snatchers not winning gold. Well, the only other the ones total. who've snatched that or more, we're looking at Karlovich, Krastev, 
Salimi, Talakadze, Manassian. They're all, I mean, other than yeah. Gore, Gore falls prey to the same problem as Malian, but the others, I mean, they're historically great. Two forty Zizul and still knows that Matarotin <coughs> could beat him. Yeah, he's, he's very got strong, clean and He's Got to build a lead here. That looks. Oh, like, oh dear, that's, that's not going to be enough. A really. limit lift there. That was tough. Yeah. Matarotin has asked for two forty one because he wants to get well, a kilo up on Zizul. Yeah, two forty one is a very smart call. It moves him into the gold and the clean and jerk for now, and silver in total. Yeah, and potentially. You know, he has a springboard to maybe push Lali on. I mean, a 250 clean and jerk is a big lift that... We've seen him do. Yeah, we've seen we've seen both of those men do 250. Yeah. Yep, so Zizulin bumped up to get some rest, which brings Matrosian out now. Fired up. He needs it for a total. Potentially the silver. Easy oh, clean. That's very strong. Oh, the elbows there. Very solid jerk. Yeah, okay, he's all good. Strong. Well, you know, he jerked 270 out the rack yeah. recently. I mean, he's he's got some of the largest training lifts we've ever seen on video with 210 kilo hang snatch. That, and a, I mean, that is insane. I mean, and that was when he was a 109. Yeah, these numbers are ridiculous. He's just an extraordinary athlete. So if Zizulin makes this, he moves back ahead of Matrosian. by five kilos. And it would force a, a 247 from Simone, who looks very capable of making that. So even if Zizul makes this, I don't think it would be enough to hold off the Armenian. Oh, it's tough. tough clean. Stumbles. He's got wow, a great jerk. at a full angle. You know what? A lot of the camera's going to be happy because he was just turned directly towards the media to make yeah. that lift. What an extraordinary attempt. What a lift. Three for six, and he moves back in, into silver. 195, 241. That's a 436 total for Zizulin. That's the end of his day. Four attempts left, all of them at 250 or above right now from two men. Will Martirosian drop down to 247, do you think? From, he's got 250 written uh, in. It's too late. It's too he's late. already got 250 on. I think he wants to have a little oh, battle no, with his team. No, they got it in, yeah. Oh, they, they got did. the 247 in. Okay. A little bit of delay there between them. Yeah. And nicely spotted by the loader. One of the loaders no, went on and put a, put a one. pointed it out. <laughs> oh. Yes, he looked at it and he pointed. It was loaded at 252 on one side, 247 on the other. This is a huge lift. Huge attempt. Moves him into silver. Oh, it's a good clean. Look wow. at the jerk. Can he hold great. on to it? You know, this man only weighs 130 kilos. That's extraordinary. What a great lift. You know, these loaders, it has to be said, I think they sort of freestyle it. <laughs> you know, two or three, sometimes five of them run up. That time they all ran up, they didn't get the one and a half, so, so someone else just went and grabbed the one and a half. <laughs> Lalian's gonna go for the, f is he gonna He's go gonna for go 250, surely. Well. Well, there's a change been 
Lalian's probably just looking for the gold and the jerk here. Yeah, he, maybe he'll he's get already it won you. the. He's already won the the total. I guess he's stuck he's at 250. 250. <laughs> Matarosian's put in 255. That's unlikely, he, but you know he called for that at he Worlds, did. and he he, he just it. pulled it right. <laughs> he looked terrified. Well, he gave us. Well, it wasn't to us, he, but he gave that expression. I remember right. commenting on where it was a bit of a. All right, let's. Yeah. Kinda. I don't even know if I if I believe in this one. I, I'm here now. I might as well. <laughs> <laughs> well. We'll give it a pull. Let's see. His cleans have looked pretty good today. Yeah. Not sure I'll go under it, but I might. I imagine he would drop down to 251, mm. maybe 252. This is a huge cleaner jump for Lalion. Yeah, this is big for him. You know, the most we've seen from him is, well, 250. So this equals yeah. it. He's made more in training, of course. That's a oh. good clean, tough stand. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. I think they're going to be able to. That's a strong jerk. And he's wow. happy with that. Three white lights for Lalian. Tremendous stuff. So 251 for Simon. It's going to try and sneak him the gold in the clean and jerk. He's going to force Lalion to make a personal best, which yeah. is really so smart. It will be a personal best for Simon as well if he makes 251. So it's a great ending. And, you know, Lalion must be thinking to himself, yeah, even when Lash is not here, I'm still being pushed to yeah. do things I've never I mean, done before. You know what's interesting is these... These are teammates. They train yeah, together yeah. on a daily basis. They know what each other's capable of. Oh, wait, 255. We've got yeah. the yellows are on the bar. Matrosian's going to take 250. Well, yeah, what did Lalian? Lalian withdrew. He's done. He knows he's won it. Wow. He doesn't think Martrosian can do the 255 to win the jerk, the clean and jerk as a medal. This man right here, third in the snatch, second in... The total. You know, I think he has a personal thing with his 255 because he's attempted now a couple of times. Yeah. It's absolutely enormous. This is one of those lifts that you want desperately for him to make. Mm -hmm. It's just the right guy, the right weight. Can he make it? He probably grew up thinking to himself, 200 in the snatch is big, 255 is big. And he's made the 200. I'd love to see this lift. I don't think he even went under it at Worlds. Oh. Uh, he's close to that time. Yeah, he Maybe we'll see him in Thailand. Maybe yeah. he'll go under it. And that was it. A heroic way to finish off a stunning European Championship. The 2024 European champs in Sofia, Bulgaria have come to an end. And the gold medal in the Supers is not Lasha Talakadze. It's Verazdat Lalian. Finally, that man gets a gold medal. Three of them around his neck, 205, 250, 455 in the total. His teammate, Matrosian, with a heroic final attempt, will uh, walk away with a bronze medal in the snatch, a silver medal in the clean jerk, and a silver in the total. 190, 247, 437, a kilo ahead of Eduard Ziazulin, whose 241 kilo clean and jerk is 21 kilos more than he made in training all year. It was a massive attempt for him, and he made it and got the bronze. Runner-up, Mart Saim. Unfortunately, it looks like he got a little bit injured on his second attempt. But 185, 225, a 410 total for him. Over in the US side of things, Ken Wilkes, 390. Alejandro Medina, unfortunately, unable to total. And that's going to be it. We're going to be back, I guess, in five weeks. We have the, uh, the World Cup in Thailand. It doesn't get any more tense than that. I mean, that's where we find out who's going to the Olympics. All of these athletes who've been battling to get in and out of the top 10, it comes to a head finally. So you don't want to miss that. We'll be streaming the whole thing, of course, live and on demand over here at Weightlifting House TV. If you haven't got the apps, make sure you download them and stick around because we have plenty of training hall sessions and backroom battles that are going to be uploaded over the next few weeks. One or two every, or well, two actually, every single week, exclusive to Weightlifting House TV. You don't want to miss it. That's going to be it from me and Max. But stick around. You can watch finally as Vrezdat Lalian gets crowned European champion. We'll see you in Thailand.